Hi viewers, welcome to this session. Today we are going to discuss about expected uh, return with probability and without probability. Already in the last classes, we have discussed about the how to calculate the expected return if it is given for the one year or if it is given for the more than one year and we know very well about how to calculate the dividend yield capital gain and expected return and also holding period return in continue to that session today we are going to discuss about including the variability of probability into the expected return on one aspect and another aspect uh, without including the probability into the expected returns as we already know that expected return is nothing but the return which we are expecting from the investment into the securities when we are expecting it may happen or may not happen that is the reason why again there is a probability has to be included into the calculation and also we know what is the meaning of probability the probability is nothing but chances of occurrence either the expected return are going to get at the end of the day or not that is going to be depending upon the probability that is chances of occurrence so we are supposed to include into the in, include the probability into the expected return but in certain cases if you are not included the probability into the expected return what is the result which we are going to see by calculation of expected return for the given problem let's we will see the formula for the expected return the formula for the expected return when the probability is included the the expected return e of r bar r bar is equals to summation of pi multiplied with r i here if we observe r bar is nothing but uh, arithmetic mean of returns arithmetic mean of returns is equals to summation of probability multiplied with the returns when we are including the probability into the expected returns and another formula without taking the probability how to calculate the expected returns is expected return of r bar is equals to summation of r i by n so r i is nothing but total of returns divided by n is nothing but number of years that is nothing but as exactly what we have calculated and what we have learned in statistics uh, that is x bar x bar is nothing but uh, arithmetic mean that is nothing but average the average of the returns is called as expected return that is indicated with the e of r bar e of r bar is nothing but uh, the average return of the expected returns which is given in the problem now we will see the problem the problem is given for the four quarters that is quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 probability for the four quarters and return for a stock is for four years four quarters and return for b stock is given for four quarters what is the probability is given for the four quarters the quarter 1 is 20% quarter 2 is 25% quarter 3 is 30% quarter 4 is 25% when we convert this percentage into points what we need to do is we have to divide the 20 by 100 then we will get the 0.2 why what is the reason sometime we need to multiply the percentages if that is the case we are not going to multiply directly the percentage we will convert the percentage into points and then multiply the point value so that we will get the some value and then at the end we will convert the points into the percentages now return for a is given 11% minus a 8% 5% 15% return for b stock is given for 9% minus 7% 5% 17% so returns for the a stock and b stock also given for the four quarters among all four values one value is negative for both the a stock as well as b stock after giving this problem what they are asking with us is now find out the expected return with probability and without probability we have to consider once the probability while solving the problem in another case 
without considering the probability values we are supposed to solve the expected return for a stock as well as b stock by considering one time probability another time without probability now we will solve the problem based upon the formula which we have learned earlier let's see expected return without probability first we will consider without probability we already know the formula for the without probability that is nothing but summation of ri divided by n summation of ri is nothing but total returns total returns how to add the total returns we have to add the total returns which is given for stock a here if you observe r bar a here it is written like this r bar a r bar a is nothing but expected return of a stock expected return of a stock is equals to summation of ri divided by n this summation of ri is nothing but the total of returns divided by n is nothing but number of years now we have to add the percentages of the a stock returns we for this reason which we will take the help of the calculator for addition how to do it in the calculator cal cal c is here now the percentages given for a stock is 11% 8% 5% 15% out of which one is minus value so minus value is to be deducted 11 plus 5 plus 15 minus 8 that is equals to 23 divided by the number of years is 4 that is equals to 5.75 percent to calculate for the expected return of b that is indicated the r bar b r bar b means the expected return of B stock is equal to summation of R divided by N, the same formula of B stock. Right? It is equal to 9 plus minus 7 plus 5 plus 17. In the same manner, again, we are going to use the calculator for option 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 17 minus 7, that is equal to. Twenty four, twenty four divided by four. That is equals to six. Six percent is the uh, expected return of B stock. That is indicated with R bar B. B stock yoke expected return is six percent. After finding out the expected return without probability, now we need to calculate the expected return with probability. The formula for the expected return with probability R bar A is equals to summation of PI, summation of PI multiplied with RI. So now we have to take the probability percentages as well as return percentages. When we go back and see the problem, the probability is given 20%, 25%, 30% and 25%. These percentages is to be converted into the points. As already I told you 20 divided by 100, you will get the 0 0.2. In the same manner, returns also has to be converted into the points. And now we need to multiply it. 0 0.2 into 0 0.11 multiplied. We will use the once calculator for calculation. Zero point two into point eleven that is equals to zero point zero double two. Like that, we have to calculate uh, for all the values one by one. That is point two five multiplied with uh, point zero eight. We will get the minus zero point zero point three zero multiplied point zero five. We will get point zero one five plus point two five multiplied with point one five will get the 0 0.075. After adding all these values, again we need to add all these values. For this purpose, again we are supposed to calculate 0 0.2 into 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 0 0.
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो डबल टू प्लस प्लस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव माइनस पॉइंट टू प्लस लास्ट वैल्यू इज पॉइंट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सेवन फाइव डेट इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो फाइव जीरो फाइव पॉइंट जीरो फाइव फोर फाइव पॉइंट जीरो फोर फाइव Are going to write here point zero five four five. This is the value which we are getting through the expected return, including the probability. After getting the zero point zero five four five, we have to convert into the percentages. When we are going to convert into the percentages, again we need to multiply with the hundred, the which we are already getting. That is zero point zero five four five into hundred. Then we will get the five point four five percent. This becomes our expected return for a with probability and then expected return for b stock with probability that is R bar B with probability the formula is sigma or summation of pi sigma pi multiplied with R I. Again we have to take all the B probabilities as well as returns. 0.20 multiplied with 0.09 plus 0.05 multiplied with minus 0.07 plus 0.30 multiplied with 0.05 plus 0.05 multiplied with 0.017 that is equals to 0.0580 we will get the value 0.0580 again we need to convert into the percentages by multiplying with the 100 we will get the 5.80 dear students after calculation of expected return with probability and without probability for the same problem for the same values when we observe Without probability, the return rate is high. If you compare it for A, without probability, 5.75% here. 5.75% for A, without probability, for the same stock with probability, it is come down to 5.45%. That means, when the probability is included, we are going to get the exact return. That means, the chances of occurrence, when we consider into the calculation, the rate of return, expected rate of return is going to be coming, arriving to the exact value. That is the reason why when you consider it without probability and with probability, always the with probability value is less when it compared with the without probability. And on the same manner for B also, see the B value. B value is without probability, it is 6%. With probability, how much? It is 5. 8%. If you compare in both the cases, with probability the expected return is less, without probability the expected return is high. That is the reason why we have to consider when we are calculating risk and return analysis for any security, we have to take the probability of values so that we will arrive to the exact return values. Like this, we are supposed to solve the problems by applying the formula for the with probability and without probability. But in the coming classes, most of the time we are going to deal these problems by including the probability variable into the problems. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.